Hi, this is Kim with Mom's Creative Moments. Welcome back to my channel. Do you have a paper problem? As a scrapbooker, we all have lots of paper on hand usually. And until a few years ago, I really had a hard time keeping track of my paper. I tried lots of different things and I've talked about lots of different things here on my channel about different ways to organize your paper. But today I want to actually show you my system just so that you have an idea of possibilities. And the reason I say it that way is because you need to understand how you organize your paper and where you put it depends a lot on where you would look for it. So when you go to put something in your files, I hope you'll stop and think to yourself, if I was looking for this paper, what topic or where, what area would I look for it? Because that's where you need to put it. So many times I have put things away and thought I put them in the best place possible and then I completely forgot where I stuck it and then I wasn't able to find it again until I was looking for something totally different and stumbled upon it. You don't want to do that, especially if you have a lot of paper in your stash. You want to be able to go, oh, I need some paper for a rainy day and I'm going to go here and find it. And it's there when you look for it, right? So let's talk about how I organize my paper. Maybe it'll help you and um, give you a, best, a better system for how, or ideas for how you can order, organize yours. I just finished my Croptoberfest, and at my Croptoberfest, we do something called a paper buffet. And if you're not familiar with what a paper buffet is, basically it allows us as advisors to open up packs of paper and provide an avenue for customers to choose one or two pieces out of a paper pack and instead of buying the whole pack of paper. So what that often means is that at the end of my event, I'm left with partial packs of paper, packs of paper that have two or three sheets left in them sometimes. And oftentimes it's actually kind of fun for me because those are packs of paper that I have already used all of the one that I set aside for myself. And so now I need to do something with the pack that is left. And so rather than keeping it in a big pile and having, you know, a big pile of miscellaneous papers, I go ahead and file it into my paper system. So I'm going to show you how I do that today. So out of this world was a pack of paper that we had in 2021. This is a super fun, really, really fun uh, paper pack. And this was my last package of it. And I opened it up for my favorite people. Uh, my customers and they just had a ball but uh, you can see they didn't take all of the pieces so I have like three or four pieces left so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab one of these piece one of these envelopes it's a Ziploc bag this is the same Ziploc bag that all my other paper packs come in I save these um, because there's no need to throw them into the landfill if you can reuse them right so I'm gonna put this paper back into the, the envelope that it came in, the Ziploc bag. I'm going to zip it up and then I'm going to grab one of these post-it notes. This is a special post-it note that's a tab. Can you see that? How it's got this white um, writing surface up here. It's about one and a half inches wide. I get these from Amazon and they come two to a package. They're not terribly expensive. It's under ten dollars for two. I can't really remember exactly because I haven't bought them in a while, but they're not, they're not expensive. I take it and I use a thin Sharpie pen. This is the liner one that's, that's super skinny, see? And I use that and I write the title of the paper pack and the year that it came to us, the year it was launched into our scrapbooking world, okay? I do that for a couple reasons. One is because I, um, I like to know, I like to know how old a paper pack is. And the other one is so that when I go to purge my paper out of my stash boxes, it's easier for me to find the old stuff and use it. So I can keep my stash more current that way. And when I open this drawer, you're going to see that it's pretty well stuffed and I really do need to purge some of my paper, which I'll get to eventually. But I want to show you today where this is going to go. 
So I take the tab and I stick it right here on the side, just like that. And if I have stickers that go with this paper pack, I put them in the back, right in the envelope with them. If I have um, scratch, not scratch, scraps, if I have scraps of this collection, they go in this envelope. If I have stickers, if I have mats, if I have laser borders or anything else that came, went along with this collection, it all goes in this Ziploc bag so that I can pull it out when I'm looking for it, right? And then I pull out the appropriate drawer. Mind you, I have several, <laughs> so <laughs> I have a lot of paper, but this particular one I know is where this one's gonna go. So I start, and I file my papers by season, so I start with winter and Christmas, are two um, on the end down there, and then fall, and fall bleeds into this compartment, which then goes to a travel section, which then goes to sp summer, which then goes to spring, and baby, and then in this box that's over here on the end, I have kind of just anything that doesn't fit into any of those categories or just kind of generic stuff. So like all the shiplap would go in this end one, all the totally tonals will go down here, all the birthday papers down here, all of the um, maybe just seasonal things that are not, um, well not seasonal things because those would go within seasons, but you know what I mean. All the stuff that you're just not sure what to do with would go down here and then you'll be able to look there and know that it's there because it doesn't fit into a season, right? Okay, so this is out of this world. Where would you put that if it, you were filing it in your stash? I'm gonna put it in my travel section because it's out of this world. Where else would we put it, right? So I'm gonna look here in the travel section. You can see I have a tab here that says travel. It's kind of hard to see. There we go. And it's just on a piece of chipboard that came from one of my packs of paper um, or pages or something. And so then I have the rest of these tabs are all alphabetized. So I'm going to come back here and find here's Outdoor Blues. Out of this world would go right behind Outdoor Blues. So then I'm going to take my paper pack. And sometimes you have to be a little aggressive if you have a file like mine that's full. But you just stick it right down in there, and then when I'm looking for it next time, I'm going to know where to find it. So, in addition to that, I thought I'd show you how I operate on a day-to-day -day basis. So, any projects that I am currently working on, like you know that I'm working on a, a series for my Ireland vacation, and I'm also working on a series for our Yellowstone trip to Yellowstone National Park, then I also just finished Croptoberfest, so that was a current project for me. And so I keep all of those things right next to my workspace. So down here on the floor I have another pullout, just like the ones I keep my stash papers in. And in here I keep folders of all of my e event things. These are finished pages for the Ireland scrapbook that need to find an album cover eventually. These are other folders that have, these are Power Project folders that have all my supplies for my Ireland trip and the pages I'm doing for my Ireland trip. You guys have seen these before. I think I've shown them to you in videos. And so I just keep, these are all the pages for Yellowstone. As I'm prepping things, instead of using my Power Project box, my Power Layout box, I often will use these folders and I'll put the empty pages in the folders and the pictures in between them and then as I have time to plan I'll add the papers and things like that to them just like for the power layout box but in a folder instead because this is a project I'm currently working on and go and I know I'm going to be doing it every week okay so this is Yellowstone you, you get the idea but I keep them right here next to my workspace so that it's quick and easy for me to grab when I need it. Okay, if you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comments. I would love to discuss with you your ideas and the ways that you organize your paper. Or if you would have put out of this world under a different topic, I'd be curious to know where you would have put it. 
let me know in the comments, would you? Thanks so much for joining me. Until next time, I hope you have many more creative moments. Have a great day.